Guys, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Okay. Hey, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Uh, hey, I'm your host, Beaker. We have got my bunnies, Melly and Pie up there. You guys are just looking too cute. Man, I just want to be real with you guys. You don't see them at night. At night, they do not sleep. They're just causing, you know, destruction everywhere all over the house. And during the day, they're just very cute. Okay, the gang is back. Guys, we have some stuff finishing in. I mean, it's going to be less than four days. We got to boost this stuff. It's going to be so fun to see those builders finish. But today, I'm not really worried about those. I'm worried about... Well, I'm not worried. That's not the right word here. <laughs> Guys, recently we did... We finished up a troop that I am not all that excited to have done. The Mini Warden, right? Like, we just we just finished our dude. Guys, we used almost a million Dark Elixir. I kind of talked about it in the last video, I think. Maybe not. Either way, we spent almost a million Dark Elixir maxing these Mini Wardens. I don't even know if I'm really going to use them. But... There is a troop down here that I, oh no, I want to do healers too. I want to do yetis. This has been, this is the first time in a long time. I'm like, legitimately, I have to make an executive decision here. What do we want to do next? What's going to be the most fun? What's going to be the most OP? Guys, when we got this update, I just happened to see one troop in particular. It's just a better upgrade. Like whether you like any of these troops more, it doesn't really change the fact that there is one upgrade here that's from what I've seen, better than all the rest. Okay, you, you see the size of the damage per second icon up there? Like, that's a pretty good chunk. It's, it's like 10%, right? That's like 5%, right? 6%. Uh, look at this one. Yeah, same thing. I don't really know why, but they just gave P.E.K.K.A. I mean, a good jump. I think it needs it. Now, uh, of course, she's incredibly overpriced. What are you going to do? 15, 15, 3. No big deal. <laughs> so guys, you want to go get 15 million? Maybe. I mean, when I say maybe, I mean yes. But first, get your shades on, get your shoes off, guys. We got to go to level 10 packets. I don't even remember what they look like. They, do they look different? They already look pretty sick. And if you watch every episode, you may remember in a recent video, I came to the realization that you can now have two packets in the clan castle. Now, that's been the case for a long time. I guess I just never really thought like, bro, you can have two packets now. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Hey, guys, so you know those absolutely wild stories in video games where like one person makes a massive game maybe it's their first game and it just blows up stardew valley first time developer his first game i mean the numbers you see are like 30 million in sales i mean i've bought it twice guys what if you have the knowledge and experience to create your own indie video game and turn it into an actual career with opportunities for growth if that sounds exciting then let me tell you about southern new hampshire university who is sponsoring this video. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. And guys, today we're gonna check out their game development program. In this program, you'll learn how to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics and interface design. You'll also learn valuable computer programming languages like C++, C Sharp and Java. And you'll learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. And really guys, like the most important part for me, my family really struggled to afford college for me. So we like this, it says right here, SNHU is radically affordable. Their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. So look, go to snhu.edu slash beaker lab, no S in there. See what the current, you know, average salary is for a, for a game programmer. And while you're there, request some free information about the program. A real person is gonna get in touch with you and talk about how the program can benefit you. Guys, it only takes one click to find your calling. Thanks for checking this out. Thanks to SNHU. Let's get back to the show. All right, guys, see the pack is over on the top left. I'm going to hit the power potion. It's going to actually upgrade them. I don't know if they're going to look different in the camps because they're not actually upgraded. All right, let's go. Yeah, they didn't change. <laughs> they didn't change. Okay, I think it's because they're not really that level. They're just boosted. One on each side. Look at those P.E.K.K.A.s. They look sick. Do you guys see the... That is... Essentially the worst thing that could have What? Those have a new level too. Man, everything got a new level that I keep like, I don't know. I'm almost like forgetting that all these things got a new level. Okay, let's get one P.E.K.K.A up here. The King, the Queen, and the Warden. I'm going to get a P.E.K.K.A over there in the mix, and I think I'm going to drop this poison, guys. I, I mean, yeah, we got to slow those P.E.K.K.A's down. Uh, the, the, what are they called? Valkies. We got to slow those Valkies down. Okay, so I'm going to drop the mini warden. I mean, he's not really needed in there, but he's he's going to help anyway. Let's freeze all that junk because there's a bunch right there. And I've got six more P.E.K.K.A.s that are hopefully going to go straight down the line here. Yeah, they're going to go straight down the line. Let's get it. 
Okay, I got a ton of rages for you girls, but you gotta get it. You gotta get into the base. Okay, let's drop right there. Yo, they're hitting so hard. I really like this. I really like this. All right, so yeah, that tunnel down, tunnel down. You're done. You're done. Dude, I think this, I think we got to get back into like spammy mass P.E.K.K.A. stuff like this. Yeah, that's their weakness. If a bunch of troops surround them, yeah, they're done. But otherwise, I mean, P.E.K.K.A.'s got it. P.E.K.K.A. still got it. Okay, so I, do, I don't, yeah. Okay, just as I say, P.E.K.K.A.'s still got it, they die. Just fantastic, fantastic. All right, so that hero is, you know, she's probably going to go down here. But I can get a little bit more loot if I use this skeleton spell somewhere. Okay, two things. I didn't drop that skeleton spell. We gotta get that down because that's gonna help. Man, maybe we should bring more because that's a new level as well, right? Didn't the skeleton spell get a new level? Guys, you're not doing anything. Could you focus? Ah, no, they're not gonna focus. It's cool. We still love you guys. This base is a bit messy. I, I don't mean it as a diss. I mean, like, it just looks chaotic. Like, where do we start? Yeah, good luck to us, man. Good, good, good luck to us. You right there. Nice, nice. I'm gonna drop that. And, you know, it's not a healer, but, like, let's drop... We'll drop the, the the mini warden with them. Maybe keep them alive a little bit longer. We'll see. All right, let's start getting a couple more P.E.K.K.A.s down. One there, one there. Come on. You, you, you gotta be kidding me. Like, <laughs> that is legitimately the worst thing that could have come out of the clan castle. All right, I'm gonna drop you over there. One P.E.K.K.A. just to help out. And everybody else is going in the middle. Guys, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get some skeletons right there. Oh no, I should have saved it for the monolith. Okay, I, 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 I'm a little bit scared of that monolith because it can probably one shot our Pegasus. All right, stop, stop, stop. Is anybody over here? Yeah, 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 guys, hurry up, finish whatever you're doing, go for the monolith, please. Okay, I forgot I <laughs> that I had a just a mix of everything in the clan castle because there's some challenges for the goal pass that I just want to get done. So it was like one goblin, one super troop, uh, you know, like one hog, one miner. It was just a mess. Is, are any of them still alive? No, definitely not. But the Pekka's are. Look at them. Half of our Pekka's are still alive. Okay, maybe not the best example because this base wasn't max, but it was, I mean, as far as farming goes, like, we'll take it. Guys, let's go back to base. We got to see what we can do. We're only about halfway there to what we need, but I think it's time for the main event. All right, guys, welcome back to the main event, a show within a show where we do something stupid. I am your host, Beaker. Look, we're talking about Pekka's today. We're trying to get them to level 10. And that means we got to get a little bit more elixir. Okay, should we hit an elixir rune? I think we have one. It'd be sick to get it without it, though. Let, let me see what we got in the clan castle. This... We're gonna be so close, dude. All right, let's collect this. 12, I think we need 15, right? So let's get that, let's collect everything we got over here. Let's get the loot cart. Oh, dude, this is gonna be, this is either gonna be close or it's gonna be perfect. Get that. I think we're just barely under what we need. Uh, where's the lab? Anybody see my lab? It's right in front of me. Okay, so let's check back in. Man, I, I truly do think, besides the healers, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, you actually do have to look at the upgrade, and you can just do your favorite troops first, but if you look at the upgrade and it's like, hey, this is what you, this is what we're going to give you. It's an it's an upgrade, I swear. I mean, yeah, that's a difference, but not much. You guys are getting 70 more damage per second. Think about per hit. That's huge, right? So, okay, we're going we're gonna to try to scrape together enough to do that, but how much exactly do we need? 420k. Where else is Elixir on this? Uh, rewards, reward list. If you go down the list, there's 2 million. Where's that? Right there. Okay. That was it then. That was that was all of it. Okay. Let me get this dark Elixir. How long is this one going to take? Uh, just two weeks. No big deal. And it, it, this is the shocking thing. That's actually like really quick nowadays. <laughs> it's like 21 days is generally what I, I expect. Guys, I truly think this is going to be the best upgrade at, you know, Tunnel 15. Truly. Let's do it up. In three two, one. Awesome. Guys, I'm glad this worked out the way it did because I thought we were going to use a rune and that we would just spend the elixir that we had on a wall or something and then use a rune. We can't spend anything right now. Again, Beak, you, you're, you're, your builders are all busy. Do, do you see this, Beak? <laughs> like, they're a bit busy right now. Anyway, man, I think that's it for today. But before we go, how fast can we boost these? One. Did I just misclick that one? 
Yeah. Two. Only two? I mean, that's going to cut off two days, but man, we got to get some more of these. Hey, so what do we do this? Like every 5.9 days or so? I think, I think we did the math. I think you got to do this like roughly once a week. Your gem mine will get full if you, if you just never hit it. Look, I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with just letting the gems stack up. I mean, it looks great. Like when, when you see that, it just naturally you're like, oh, that's full gem mine. All right. I like it. Guys, we got to get it. I think we're supposed to get it every 5.9 days or something. I should do the math again so I remember. I put a thing in my phone to remind me, but then I kept being like, what's this thing? Like, pick up gems? What? <laughs> Guys, let's pick our gems. Cool. See you guys.